Hello, Junior, and welcome to Gentleman's Caddy. Well, if you're anything like me, gentlemen, you most likely have gone through dozens of different wallets, card holders, money clips, and all kinds of crazy contraptions over the years just to hold some cash and some cards. Well, it's all led me here to the Red Wing card holder. Now, what you see right here is the box you get out of your, your shipping box. It's a nice little presentation box with a Red Wing logo. It's always nice when a company does a nice little presentation element. It always, you know, enhances the opening ceremony, if you will. So out of the box, what we have here is the card holder itself and a little cloth down at the bottom. There's a little card in, up front here that tells you this is indeed a premium leather good. And you know this is all leather highly constructed in the United States because it is their heritage line from Red Wing. So you can't go wrong, gentlemen. It's a beautiful thing made in the USA. So let's put that to the side. And here, obviously, is the card holder itself. So I should note, though, that this year is not brand new out of the box. I bought this, let me I think a year and a half ago, gentlemen. Let me check the receipt here. When did I buy this? Ah, oh, it's two years. So it's two years of usage already. Uh, surprised me already two years so this is two years so this is two years of wear on the leather so obviously if you want to take a look at how it looks brand new you can go on their website or online with this color this is the natural color natural vegetable tan color so that's the card holder itself and it comes with a nice little pouch here as well which i use this for the card products like a conditioner and so forth so it's a nice little storage thing i throw in the closet so it's a nice little element they add on you know, you're getting a little extra experience out of the opening ceremony, as I call it. So here's the card holder itself. As I said, you know, this is the vegetable tanned, or natural tan, as they will call it. Uh, I prefer that color. Uh, for, I just prefer the color, the lighter color myself, personal preference. But I also think it gives you a nice, over the years experience to see the the aging the natural aging process of the leather as it has a, it maintains the a nice patina to it over the years from you know your, your hands or the oils in your hands and and so forth the overall usage you get to see that the the wear and the beauty of the leather over time versus some with in my opinion with the, the darker leathers that are too dark you can't appreciate the leather itself so that's my personal experience and Obviously, any leather that you do choose is going to darken up. So just keep that in mind as you select your color. So obviously, it's a card holder. So being a card holder, it's not going to have any opening mechanisms, no folds, no uh, no movements, no clear uh, pa uh, plastic uh, pouches or anything. So what you see is what you get. You get your two folds in the front, your two folds in the back. And then in the center here, we have our center main pouch. So I use the Santa main pouch, I have been for the last two years now, for, since I first got it, for my cash. And all my bills go in here, like so. So, and that's worked out fantastic. And now, usually anything over uh, about, let's say, eight or nine bills, I'd say, folded together like this, may start to get a little tight, pulling in and out of the, of the card holder itself. But it's worked out great with anything less than that, pulling in and out. So that's that's great for the for the cash itself, and then the cards themselves. You know, I'm going to use some rulers to demonstrate little ruler cards. I'm not going to use my credit cards. What do you think I am crazy? So there's the two in the front, and then we go to the back. And we have some little architectural scales here. These are slightly thinner than a credit card, but they do they do the trick. So there you go. You have your four, right? So I, I had more than four. I've been trying to minimize my overall card uh, inventory. So I have about five or six that I usually carry on an everyday carry basis. So I will put, I've had no trouble doubling them up, uh, even with a thicker, thicker, let's say membership card or what have you. Not so much with the credit card because the credit card has the, that extruded element that with the name and number at the bottom which would be too thick for two in my experience. So no issue with doubling doubling them up. So there you have the card holder with four cards in it and some cash. That's the way I've been carrying it. 
Now, generally, one of my first trepidations in terms of getting a card holder itself was the fact that I was always scared about things falling out, uh, being that it's an open construction type type unit, so there's nothing holding holding it in or covering it, so it's all out there. All the cards are out there, and the cash is there, and I always worried about things falling out. But over the last two years, I haven't had any issues with anything falling out of the card. I'm holding this right here on the edge, and I'm going, banging this thing up against the table here. And nothing's moving. Nothing's coming out. And oh, the, well, this one came a little, just a little. Well, they, these are slightly thinner than a credit card, too. So you won't have any movement on an everyday carry basis. And over the years, too, the flaps themselves will open up as leather tends to conform to the product that you have in there. So it did expand. So it works for my cards and my uh, my overall everyday carry situation. So it's been fantastic. No movement on any of the cards and the cash. And traditionally, you really carry you would carry this in your front pocket, a card holder. At least that's the way I've seen most gentlemen carry them. I am guilty, however, of putting this in my back pocket. Uh, so, and there's been no issues with anything falling out. Uh, no cards or cash moving at all. So it's been great. So the overall construction, something that caught my eye when I first bought this here, is the, the flap here, the center flap, is nicely sewn flush to the outer flap. So there's no overlapping. And you get to appreciate that there on the side here, construction. So there's no... There's no overlap between this here piece and this here piece, so they're flush. And they achieve that by essentially creating a t-shirt kind of a design on the center here, the center flap, and cutting it so it's short of the outer flap, allowing it to be flush against the center cash flap that I have right here. So you'll see on cheaper models just an overlap, like a shingle construction, shingle-like construction, versus this, which is finely crafted, for its use, which is which is a great element to help reduce the overall thickness of the card holder itself. So that's fantastic, and that's one of the first things, believe it or not, that um, I have an eye for detail that I caught. And you could see too that the stitching is is heavy duty. This is a heavy duty stitching, something you would almost see on a boot. Uh, and mostly, yeah, most likely, actually, it could be exactly the same on some of my Red Wing uh, Heritage boots. So you can see that's a full stitch all the way through on both sides through uh, this construction here. I think the overall thickness of the stitch itself, uh, let's see here, uh, that's about, that's almost a quarter of an inch there. Close to a quarter. So that's, that's that, and the overall construction is fantastic in two years of hard use gentlemen I, I'm in construction myself as some of you may know and this thing has gotten some hard use whether I'm pulling it out of the pocket and throwing it up a, on a shelf uh, in my back pocket in a toolbox sometimes sometimes I don't like anything in my pockets while working so it's gotten a lot of use some dings and dangs along the way and you can definitely appreciate that through the overall uh, patining of the overall leather so fantastic. So I, the only gripe that I can come up with with this product is is the cost itself, and that's unfortunately how it is with most most good products. I mean, it's a higher end product, being at eighty four ninety nine price point. So it is high, I admit. But what you're getting out of the box, you're getting a product that's going to last essentially a very long time. And over the two years that I've, I, I've had it, I'm pleasantly surprised of how well it's held up, especially with my overall concern with card holder retention, uh, which it obviously is alleviated because nothing has ever moved. So considering the life expectancy of, of that product and then comparing it to a, a cheaper product that has uh, no chance in uh, the world to compete up against this in terms of longevity, uh, having you know a twenty dollar, a twenty dollar, five dollar product versus this, 
there's no comparison over the life expectancy, which you have to calculate in the overall usage of the product. And I, I, in my opinion, it's a good, a good deal. Overall, a great deal. And this here product is a winner. It's a definite winner in my book. And considering I've been carrying it for two years, that, that's all the reason you need right there to tell you that it is. Thank you for watching, Junior. Before you go, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow, and you'll be a real winner in my book. And you know what they say about winners? Winners go home and 